Hey, good morning. Headed over to West Point. Uh, got a great morning to shoot. Nice and foggy out. So, there's a trestle, a railroad trestle that goes over the Chattahoochee. And there's like three different areas in which you can shoot this. The one I'm going to shoot is going to be shooting straight down through the track. Now you can go to another location and shoot it at a slight angle where you get the river and the trestle in the picture. Um, there's another spot which you can go to. Uh, it's actually another bridge that goes over the Chattahoochee and you shoot upriver. It doesn't really give a great angle to the bridge, so it's that's that's out for sure. So I'll go over and I'll park behind the police station. And I'll just kind of walk around and walk up the trestle. I'm not sure when the trains are running, but of course, you know, you use safety in this kind of stuff. Um, there's places where you can move off the side of the tracks to allow the train to go by if that happens to arise. But the conditions are going to be pretty nice. Um, like I said, it's a nice foggy morning. So... Hopefully in about another 15, 20 minutes, I'll get there. The sun's gonna be coming up in about 7.20ish, somewhere in there. And it will be coming up in the direction in which I'm shooting. So hopefully that light will add to um, a little bit more of a dramatic shot of this trestle. So we'll see what happens, but um, we'll get back on here in a little while and talk a little more. So check this out. I hear the train a coming. Missed it. That's okay though. That would have been a pretty awesome shot. Oh. Well, I thought it was a short train, but I guess not. It's all right though. That'll make it a little safer for me to go out there and shoot this picture. But it would have been a nice shot. Maybe I'll catch another one a little bit later on. Maybe you can figure out how to find out when the train schedules are running. Till a little, little bit later. So this is the one view that I was telling you about from the main bridge. And that's the trestle right there in the background. All right, so as you can see, this is the railroad trestle. Just gonna get up on here. Okay. I'm okay. Hopefully we'll be alive. All right. Hazards of the trade, I guess. Not a way to start out my morning. Well, that's all right. So, there it is. Whew. Might take a shot from back here. We'll get back on this a little bit later. So as you can see, after my disastrous fall back there, no equipment hurt. <clears throat> this is what I got to see this morning. Looks awesome. Uh, it's going to make for a great photograph, so we'll uh, now travel on to our next location, and hopefully this fog will hang around for just a little bit longer. Man, how could I be so lucky?
check that out. Is that not cool? I got a shot I wasn't expecting. Doing a little bit of video. Working out perfect. The train should be ending pretty soon. But that is sweet. up early. Always pays off. Early bird catches the worm or the shot. Go a little bit later. Bye. All right, so I'm out here at Southern Harbor this morning. Finally got a nice looking scene to shoot with the fog in the background. Water's looking great. So this is the second stop of my morning fog shoot. Got the railroad track and the train this morning. And now we're shooting this. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and then we're going to be off to a third location, which will be the dam. So we'll see how that goes as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and shoot this shot really quick. We got a two second timer going on. looking pretty awesome there it is in the background I don't know if I can zoom in on that there we go check that out isn't that cool man what an awesome I ought to be out there fishing is what I need to be doing but that is so cool all right take another shot and we'll be on to our next location all right so I went by the dam this morning and there was so much fog you couldn't even see the dam so there was really no way that I could photograph it from the time that I had there. So I went on and I went out and drove home and on the way home, I stopped off at a, um, one spot that had a bunch of cows in a pasture and you know, I, I was able to get a few shots of some cows in the pasture, uh, which turned out pretty nice. And um, then after that, I went ahead, came on home and I'm starting to put all that together in this video. But one thing I wanna point out is that don't limit yourself to pretty days to take photographs because even on inclement weather days, you're going to be able to find things that are going to offer up a great photo opportunity. So <clears throat> check the weather beforehand. There's a few apps out there that are going to let you know what the weather conditions are going to be. And then you can use those to your advantage when you're looking for a specific weather condition to shoot in. Um, I enjoy shooting in bad weather as well as, as nice days too because I can um, usually find a place that's going to offer a, a good photo opportunity. So I hope you liked the video and um, my knee's okay from my fall this morning. A um, little bloody but I got that all taken care of. So continue to shoot and get out there and um, learn challenge yourself to take better photographs and uh, the internet's a great place to learn all that stuff I'm, I'm learning every day myself but uh, again I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep shooting I do try every time I get or every chance I get have a good day